Okay, so what I'm going to do tonight is a meatloaf. And we're just going to start with a pound of ground beef. And I have already mixed up my spices. I have what, um, what I did was I mixed it in a bowl first. And it's a half a teaspoon of black powder. Um, it is a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's a whole teaspoon of Cajun seasoning and a whole teaspoon of seasonal salt. I'm just going to season the meat. Now, no salt. I put black pepper, but no salt. And you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, get rid of that. And I'm going to put one egg in with my meatloaf. And then I'm going to do just a teaspoon of uh, soy sauce. Just a teaspoon. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to do a teaspoon of A1. Maybe a half a teaspoon. There you go. With A1. Because you don't want too many wet ingredients in with your meatloaf. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of 57 sauce, probably half a teaspoon, or half, yeah, yeah, about half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon, something like that. Alright, come on, if it'll come out. There we go. Alright, just throw that right in there. Okay. And what I'm going to cook it in is this electric skillet right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on, and I'm going to turn it on... I'm going to start my meatloaf cooking at 250. <clears throat> and I'm going to use a half a stick of butter in the pan. Just throw it right in and let it start to melt. And for the dry ingredients, instead of using breadcrumbs, um, I have uh, saltine crackers. And I just put them in this bag and kind of smushed them up like that. And that's a neat way to kind of get breadcrumbs or, you know, saltine crackers anything like that, um, kind of smushed up to where you can work with it. And that's about 10 saltine crackers, so it'll mix with the dry ingredients and kind of hold the meat loaf together. And I'm just going to get in, just get in there and mix it up. And that butter's going to melt, and I'm going to put this together so that it looks like a big meat loaf. And I'm going to put, um, I'm going to cook with it, the potatoes around it, um, so that the butter and the little bit of the grease from the meatloaf will cook the potatoes with it. Now, I give the meatloaf a five minute head start in my little cooker, but if you don't have one of those little cookers, you can, um, you can certainly do it in the oven, but I would encourage you to put some full over whatever pan you use, I would encourage that because then you don't want that grease to pop all over your oven and you're stuck cleaning the oven. There you go. Alright, now we got our meatloaf. And now this will feed about four people. That's all I'm trying to do today. Or I would use more ground beef. Okay. I'm just going to flatten it out, make it into a loaf, and throw it into the pan and get my hands a wash. And that is my meatloaf. I don't want my hand print to be on the back of it, but I kind of smush it down. And the reason I give it a head, five minute head start is so when you put your potatoes in there with it, your potatoes don't burn and then your meatloaf's not done. So I just give the meatloaf a five minute head start. And if you want, you can throw some green beans in there with it. I, some people do it like that. My mom for one. Love my mom. But, I don't like to do it like that because, you know, the kid said they didn't like it. So, there you go. But, we called it greasy green beans and they were pretty good. Like that. Just press it into the pan like that. And that way your meatloaf will stay together and stay, um, it won't fall apart on you while you're trying to cook it. Let me give my hands a quick wash. And that's basically it to a meatloaf. 
Um, like I said, I'll put a lid on it and let it cook for about five minutes. And that way you're not putting your potatoes in there with completely raw meat. Even though you, I mean, you could do it that way, but I don't like to. So I guess it's just up to personal preference on that. Okay, I'm going to put a lid on it and let it cook for about five minutes. And then I'll come back and show you what the potatoes look like. Okay, so I gave my meatloaf about a five minute head start. And that way it starts to kind of brown somewhat. Um, and I have my potatoes that I've cut up. Oh, they're good time. I have my potatoes that I've cut up into chunks. And I'm just going to put them in with it and let it cook with it and cook some green beans on the side. And then we'll have a one skillet dinner. And this is about, I don't know, four or five potatoes cut up into chunks. And I put it down in that butter and that grease a little bit. And just kind of move them around so they don't all stick together in one place. And all I'm going to do is just salt and pepper the potatoes a little bit. A little bit. And uh, let it cook. Um, I usually let this cook for an hour, hour and a half on like 250 uh, in this cooker. If you're using the oven, it depends on the way your oven cooks. I try to cook it on 250, um, like I said, for an hour, hour and a half. Um, after like 45 minutes, I'll flip it over and let it cook the rest of the time um, like that. And just like I said, put a lid on it. And there you have it, meatloaf. Um, I'll show you. I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done and the potatoes get nice and done and everything. And um, Thanks. Okay, and that's what my meatloaf looks like when it's all done. And the potatoes and some green beans. And the phone started ringing. So, see you later. Goodbye.